Hello folks, coming to you from another beautiful day in Quartzsite. It's a windy day, and I've got something exciting to show you. This is, an, this is a review video, but this is so exciting! <laughs> It's a new life for me. Yeah, it's a new life for me. It is 91 degrees outside, and summer is coming. And you guys know what happens when summer comes. The heat comes with it. I've got something to show you guys that I really think is going to become the next thing in the RV uh, market, the van dwelling market. Um, it is new technology. <clears throat> and the first time these this company wrote me, um, I got super excited. I checked out their product, and I got super excited, but I wanted to wait until I got it to get too excited. I've had it for a week now, and I'm going to give my... Um, I've, I've been using it for a week already. So, without further ado... <clears throat> My bedroom is kind of a mess, but we got the Zero Breeze uh, Mark II here. It is a real air conditioner. It's not one of those uh, fake swamp coolers or something like that. It's got a real compressor in it. Uh, this is probably going to be a temporary install the way I did this right now, but uh, <clears throat> I just set it up just to, just to function for right now so I can uh, show you guys how it functions. Anyways, I can run this off of my solar uh, system. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, this is not going to cool your entire van or RV uh, when you're in the blazing hot sun, when you're parked in the blazing hot sun or in a parking lot or something like that. This is not meant for that. Um, it's only 2,300 BTUs, um, but... Those 2300 BTUs are lovely. <laughs> I love it. Let me turn it on here. I'm going to I'm going to show you. I do have a battery pack on this. Uh, it does run off of a battery if you want to run it off of a battery. But I have found that I actually prefer to just run it off my solar system since it only uses like 130 to 250 watts. Um, the Jackery told me something different than this did, but we're going to check the kilowatt today. So, turn on my inverter. Here we go. This does come with a remote, too. Uh, I will turn it on. It's using 0.2 amps right now. All right, the wattage is going up. Let me actually turn that on. More light. You can hear it starting up. Oh yeah, this is just beautiful. Now this is the uh, high mode right here with the rocket. Um, this is the highest mode. I just turned the fan up. Now it takes a while to start up, which I actually like because uh, it takes less power when it starts up slow. We are at 68 watts. Oh, yeah. We'll check on that in a little bit. One really cool thing that this has is down there, it shows you the temperature of the air that's coming out. Not sure if you could hear that or not because it, the wind was blowing on the camera, but it shows you the temperature that's coming out. It is already nice and cool. And it's at 93 watts. How many amps? 0.8 amp, 116 volts. By the way, this is a 24 volt system. 
Now, I'm running this off of AC power through my inverter, but, but you can get a 12 volt to 24 volt converter. Um, and then you can run it off of the DC. I've got the drain hose here. I uh, drilled a hole right through this table and it's going down to a gallon jug. It's still starting up. It, it does take a minute. But, oh, now, the other day it was super, super hot out, and I was just laying in, I'm laying in front of this, and I, I felt so nice and cool. It's like a spot cooler, you know, if, if you have this blowing on you, you're going to be nice and cool, even if the rest of your rig is, is hot. Now, I mean, I, I'm, I suppose... Um, at night, it will somewhat cool down like a seven by seven foot room. Um, I, I would think so. I think it's done it for me. But no matter what you do, don't ex don't buy this expecting it to be like a one of those window air unit, those five thousand BTU air units, where you think you're gonna be sitting out in the sun and your whole van's gonna be cooled off and stuff like that just uh i just want to make that clear um but this is lovely this is nice cool air coming out it's, it's got a compressor 2300 btus i'm so excited about this they came out with the mark one a, a little while ago um the fan speed was a little lower for that but with this new mark two uh you got a higher fan speed um and uh obviously some more features it's it's even got a light inside which i can't turn on right now it's not night time but it's it's got a light it's got a bunch of different features i love this thing i've been using it like crazy and uh you know especially if you're in a humid area um it'll definitely take the humidity out and cool you down i'm I am just tickled that I can I can use this and I can watch my TV. It can be hot as heck outside and I'll be fine. Um, I think this is going to become a thing in, in the market. I'm really excited about this. I will give another uh, review video on it later down the road um, of what I think about it. But I've had it for a week, been using it for a week, been running great. Let's check the wattage here. My freezer is running. And look up there, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but I'm still floating. See that green light blinking on my charge controller? My batteries are still floating and I've got 610 watts on the roof. All right, it's using 206 watts. 212. All right, so I'll come back to you in a minute. Keep slowly climbing up there. I, I told you it takes a minute, um, and I will show you the wattage that it's using. Woo! And all right, y'all, it's been a few minutes. I wanted to show you that it is 93 degrees outside. AC is still running. It is running at 223 watts. and 1.94 amps. My solar system is still floating up there. The air is nice and cool. I'm gonna show you guys inside what temperature it's coming out at. 52 degrees Fahrenheit. It's so nice and cool. Now this has an intake that uh, cools the block so you got to use both of these and then this this one over here is the exhaust ah yeah this feels good and uh you know just for an example just to show you how much air is coming out <laughs> i'm kind of a ways away from it
but I can feel the air plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. This is kind of stiff. That's probably not the best example, but you guys can see that it's blowing out. So I want to show you what I did to the outside, all right? Boom, there's a view of how I installed it on the inside. <clears throat> Let's take another look real quick, because that's sport mode right there. This is just the normal AC right there. I'm sure that will go down some. We'll check it when, when I come back in, what the normal AC mode is at. Boom and boom. So, let me get out here, you know. I have this behind my screen because I don't want bugs and stuff climbing up into it. I can feel the exhaust coming out here and then it is definitely pulling in air right up there. So I didn't have to put any, I didn't have to put any holes in my RV or anything. This is actually meant for RVs. So I am very excited about the Zero Breeze Mark II. Um, and uh, van life and RV life is getting easier and easier all the time. Driving around with internet, you know, all the comforts of home. Basically, it's like an, an efficiency apartment on wheels when you're RVing these days. With all the wireless internet, air conditioning, so free power. I mean, if you think about it, we literally have free energy machines on the top of our roofs called solar panels. You know, you buy it and then it just produces power forever. Anyways, in the description below, you will see a link to uh, to purchase this Zero Breeze. Look, I've had it for a week. I gotta, I gotta let you guys know though that it is a bit spendy. Uh, it's a bit spendy, but once you have it, you have it, um, and it's it's new technology, you know. Um, technology that I am oh that feels so nice very thankful for so click on the link in the description below y'all and I will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching Woo! I've got some uh, more RV life videos coming up that's just you know with me and stuff and uh, yeah but I, li I like doing these off product reviews. See you guys later. Uh oh. Uh oh. I almost forgot to show you guys the wattage that it's using in just the normal air conditioning mode, not the sport mode. I have to be careful because these are just, you don't push any pressure on these buttons, you just touch them. It's 178 watts on just normal uh, air conditioner mode, not the sport mode or whatever where it's the rocket there where it's really really coming out all right i thought i'd clarify this and now i will uh insert this back into the video before the ending part okay bye <laughs> hey guys living on the road full time in my rv can bring me on some pretty crazy adventures I encourage you to follow along in my adventures on the road. So please subscribe to my channel, share my videos, and thanks for watching.